On a positive note, for the first time in months, Utah's seven-day COVID-19 positivity rate has dropped to less than 20%, meaning fewer than one in five tests are coming back positive. Today's 1,300 new cases is well below the recent average of 2,000 cases a day. However, there are still 573 people hospitalized in Utah with the virus, but the state's ICU bed capacity has dropped to now 88%. As the new case numbers drop, Utah continues to ramp up testing and offering a lot more free testing sites. They include Harriman, Milford, and Ridgeline High Schools and the Duchesne County Centennial Event Center. As you can see, there are too many sites around the state to mention here. For a complete list of sites in your area, Go to fox13now.com. In our weekly look at COVID-19 trends all around the state, things appear to be getting better. Fox 13's Max Roth joins us in studio with a look. Max, that's some good news. You know, really good news and nice to see in most places around the state. Clearly, we're on the back end of a Christmas New Year's spike in COVID cases, and the drop in numbers is dramatic. Every county in Utah is on this chart. Columns going down mean case rates are dropping. That's in 23 of our 29 counties. Utah's six big population counties were all down. Washington County cut in half the record they set a week ago. Rates down across the board here mean thousands fewer cases over a week. Juab County saw the biggest decrease in case numbers, but if you see your county along this row, your area saw real improvement. And these are the six counties with the same or more cases. Carbon and San Pete are the biggest here. San Pete's numbers are the most concerning because that's a serious increase, and it is the biggest county on the list. Wayne, Daggett, and Paiute are too small for percentages to be as useful here. Now looking at vaccines administered, most of Utah's health districts show similar rates. Now Utah as a state is about 20th in the nation. The tri-county area of Daggett, Duchesne, and Uinta counties has the lowest rate of vaccination in Utah, though Utah County itself doesn't look much better. San Juan County is probably outpacing the rest of the state because along with the health department locally, the U.S. government has prioritized getting vaccines to the Navajo reservation because of their high case numbers. So rates are decreasing and we should start seeing fewer hospitalizations and deaths. Those numbers are still high right now. There are not enough vaccinations out there yet for that to have had an impact on these numbers. So that decrease is really all about what we're doing, about less social interaction, people being more careful with masks. And that is especially important right now because public health leaders are worried about that new, more contagious variant coming in and really it's practicing those things that is going to keep that at bay as well. Live in studio, Max Roth, Fox 13 News, Utah.